Hi guys, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Ratan. Welcome to Durga Soft. So in this uh, video, we'll discuss about the fifth entry question: How many types of, how many parts of Java? How many parts of Java, guys? It's very small question, guys. How many parts of Java? But important, right? Yeah, most of the students are saying like, no, core Java, advanced Java, guys. How many parts of Java means what? A core Java, advanced Java. Yes, but core Java advanced Java is only in Amir paid classes, basics of Java we are saying it's core Java, a bit advanced topics we are saying it's advanced Java. But uh, who is a vendor of Java guys? Sun Microsystems. Yes, who is a vendor of Java? Sun Microsystems. As per the Sun Microsystems standards, the Java divided into three parts. Yes, as per the Sun Microsystems standards, the Java divided into three parts. What are the three parts tell me here? One is like you know JTSC, guys. One is what JTSC, Java to Standard Edition. Second is the JTME, Java to Enterprise. Sorry, J T W E, Java to Enterprise Edition. Third one is what JTME, Java to Micro Edition, right? Guys, I know how many parts of Java. There are three parts of Java: JTSC, J T W E, J T M E. Okay, so Java to Standard Edition, Java to Enterprise Edition, Java to Micro Edition. Because whatever the core Java you are taking, your core Java belongs to JTSC part. Your core Java basically belongs to JTSC part. And Sourlets uh, advanced Java, okay. Sourlets and JSP is belongs to JTWE part. Sourlets, uh, JSP, EJB, okay, EJB, this all comes under what uh, JTWE part. So point, the point is clear, right? In Amir paid classes, in Amir paid classes, basics of Java they are saying the core Java, bit advanced topics are they are saying advanced Java. But as per the Sun Microsystem standards, initially Java vendor is Sun Microsystem, right? Now the Java product from which company, guys? Oracle Corporation. But as per the Sun Microsystem standards, Java divided into how many parts? Means three parts: uh, JTSC, JDW, and JTM, right? Exactly. And using JTSC, guys, in the real time, we can develop the application like you know standalone applications, guys. Guys, using JTSC, what application you can design here? Hmm. Standalone applications, right? Exactly. Standalone applications we will build in real time. Using J to double E, guys, Java to Enterprise application, Java to Enterprise edition, we will build the web applications and what the enterprise applications. Guys, we will build what a web and what enterprise application, right? And even distributed applications also possible. Guys, JTSC means what a standalone applications. JWE means what a web and enterprise applications. And JTME, guys, Java to micro edition. Using JTME Java to micro edition, we will build which applications means mobile app, mobile apps, guys. It's a completely mobile platform. Guys, you got the point, right? Then total how many parts of Java? Tell me. There are three parts of Java. What are three parts, guys? JTSC, JWE, JTME. JTSC means what? Java to Standard Edition, where we can build the standalone application. JWE means what? The Java to Enterprise Edition. We will build the web applications and what? Enterprise applications. JTME means what? Hmm. JTME means what? Java to Micro Edition to build the mobile applications, right? That's it. And the core Java we are we are discussing core Java questions. This all the core Java questions are belongs which part, guys? Your JTSC part. Even in the resume, guys, we need to mention the technologies like JTSC. Don't place like you know core Java, advanced Java. In resume, you need to mention like technologies JTSC part, guys. Clear? Huh? Those are parts of Java, guys. Hmm? Take the notes, guys. Every question you can write the notes. I hope you guys are writing the notes. try to maintain the notes about every question hmm? thank you we will see next question next video